new Ford F-150 is unlike any truck ever built. It was designed to be efficient without sacrificing the capability needed to get the job done. To prove that capability, we're challenging Ram and Silverado to a head-to-head -head towing competition. The F-150 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 engine versus the Ram 3-liter EcoDiesel and the Silverado 1500 5.3-liter V8 engine. 2.7-liter EcoBoost is about half the size of the mid-range V8s. Welcome to the mecca of torque and towing test sites, Arizona's Davis Dam Road, where truck manufacturers flock for SAE certification thanks to its 13-mile climb up a 6% grade and temperatures that top 100 degrees. Identical 7,000-pound trailers are hitched to each of the trucks. Each truck is equipped with its most capable axle. The course is three miles long, up Davis Dam Road. The drivers will push the pedal to the floor and not let up until the vehicle crosses the finish line. Each pair of trucks will make three runs, switching drivers and lanes between each race to eliminate variables. Eco Diesel got off the line well and then uh, can't maintain the speed. 2.7's got a lot of torque too, and it doesn't lose any speed. The new F-150, with its 2.7-liter EcoBoost engine, easily beats the Ram Eco Diesel by a hefty margin in all three runs. The all-new F-150 is over 700 pounds lighter than the current F-150. That's what allows us to go up against trucks like the 5.3-liter V8 Silverado. Up against the Silverado V8, an engine nearly twice its size, the more fuel-efficient F-150 EcoBoost with its broad torque band wins the first two rounds, then finishes only seconds behind after the temperature drops. And in the hottest part of the day, the 2.7-liter EcoBoost performed the best. If our customers need to tow 7,000 pounds, they're going to be able to do it like a V8 could do it. The F-150 proves once again that finding smarter, more efficient ways to get the job done is what it means to be built for tough. What you saw today was the future for pickup trucks. It's not just about horsepower and torque anymore. It's about power to weight, being able to give customers better fuel economy without compromise. 